Hello and welcome. Today we have a Samsung S24 Ultra for a charging board replacement. We are going to start by heating up the back cover using a hair dryer for about 4 minutes. The temperature used is around 80 degrees Celsius and the phone is placed at a safe distance from the flow of air. The air is evenly distributed on the back's, uh, phone's back. Let's start. After using our hair dryer, by the way, you can also use heating plates or hot air guns, but hair dryers are available to most of you. We are going to place the phone in this opening tool. Screw this as hard as you can so the phone is in place. Align the suction cup to the back cover. Now I am getting the suction cup on the back cover. Engage the suction cup and then screw in this and this will cause the this will cause the suction cup to create vacuum and lift up the back cover using isopropyl alcohol we are going to detach the back cover safely without the risk of breaking It's already opening up. We are going to increase the pulling force and add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. After we have a big enough gap, we can get a plastic tool to detach the back cover further. I am going to use a very thin and soft plastic tool to get under Also, a few drops of isopropyl alcohol, and then let's do the same on this side. Get the opening tool in. Don't go in too deep, and a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. Okay. The bottom part of the back cover is detached. Let's continue with the other part. So the center part is beginning to detach. Let's increase the pulling mo uh, force and just a little bit under. I am dipping this in isopropyl alcohol, by the way, so this makes it much easier. And we are almost done. Now we are going to detach the suction cup and release the phone. I guess you can also do this using 
um, big suction cup, but the risk of breaking the back cover increases So by doing this, we didn't uh, damage the double-sided tape. The isopropyl alcohol, the su suction cup, and this very thin plastic tool dipped in isopropyl alcohol allowed us to detach the back cover without damage to that double-sided tape. So the phone is turned off. We are going to get the screws from the bottom part out the battery is completely discharged we are also going to remove the screws from the metal shield just to disconnect the battery. So let's see, all the screws are out from this metal shield. We need to disconnect the wireless charging and NFC antenna. Let's disconnect the battery. And let's lift up this plastic shield. Before we unscrew those three screws, don't forget to eject your SIM tray. So here you need to be extra careful so your screwdriver does not slip. By the way, we are using a 1.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver here. After removing the screws, let's disconnect the antenna cable and the main flex cable. We are going to get a plastic tool in here and gently lift this up. So this charging board was uh, melted by a not so original charger. We are going to get the new part remove this microphone film and let's align the charging board in place and then slide it in that's what she said okay so we need to make sure it's um, nice and aligned so let's see looks like it's in place we are going to get the three Phillips screws uh, okay 
So the screws are magnetic, but they are stubborn. So carefully, carefully set them in place. And then get the antenna cable aligned and connected and the main flex cable connected. You should hear those clicks. Connect the battery to the motherboard and let's test the phone to see if it's charging. So the phone is charging, let it sit for a while and then I'll come back. So after a while we can see the phone is charging properly, the battery is at 33% and we are going to continue and reassemble the phone. So, get the buzzer back in place, align it properly and apply pressure on the two sides. It should click in place. Don't forget to connect this wireless and NFC flex cable and let's get the screws back in place Next for this metal shield screws, be extra careful not to get your screwdriver to slip, you don't want to damage that motherboard or cameras. Next we are going to get the insert the SIM tray and let's see, let's make a thumbnail. Next we are going to get the back cover and because the double sided tape is not damaged we are going to reuse this. I recommend you replace it and get new genuine double sided tape but in this case I am going to choose to reuse it. Before we place the back cover on the phone I am going to hit the back cover up and after using heat to soften that double sided tape we are going to align the back cover to the frame apply pressure on the sides and I'm going to set the phone in a press.
so I'm turning these screws and it's making pressure even pressure on the phone I hope this video helped if it did please like comment and subscribe have a good day